During the week, uh, we can create a study schedule and if you can see here I've opened up the file called Daily Schedule and what, I'm, what I want you to notice is that it's from Sunday to Saturday. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through and schedule all of my classes in here. So I'm going to pause the video and do that. When I come back it'll all be done. So I'm going to show you a couple of them and then, uh, then I'll fill it out. So let's say that Monday from 8.30 to 10.30 I have class. I'm going to block that four for that two hours and then I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to merge it and then what I like to do is I'm going to go and put a color in so let's say for this class I'm going to choose yellow and that's 8.30 to 10.30 and it's my psychology class so put in that okay again I'm going to fill it with yellow there we go and put my teacher's name so I'm going to put my name and the room number Okay, so then I'm going to go through and mark that each class is going to have a, a unique color. So again, when I return, it'll all be done. So hold on a minute. Okay, so now I've filled in my classes. So I have one psychology class, I have marketing, I have a business class, I have another business class, I have English, and then I have a field placement training. Uh, so I have six classes here. You notice that each one is done in a different color. It's just a little easier for me to figure out uh, you know, what goes with what. Now you notice my Friday is free and if you're lucky enough to have that then what uh, you should do is try to do a lot of homework on your Friday and then of course your Saturday and Sunday as well. So uh, a rule of thumb is that for each hour of class you should have about two or three hours of homework time planned. But uh, for this example, what I want to do is I'm just going to schedule um, some stuff that I'm going to do in the evenings. Now, let's say I need, you see how it stops at 9.30. I can always press the tab key right at the end, and then I can add another row. And I'm going to click in the end, press tab, add one more. Okay, so basically now I'm going from 8 o'clock in the morning till 11 at night. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to schedule, let's say that if my class goes to 5.30, then I'm gonna get home around six. I'm gonna have supper. I'm gonna block that. And then what I'm gonna do is merge the cells and then just put six o'clock is supper. And I think I'm gonna do that every night. So I'm gonna copy that. Okay, and then I'm gonna merge this and paste it. Merge it. Paste it. Oh actually I'm just gonna press control V probably a little bit easier. Merge and paste. And I'm not going to do that for Friday because I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Depends on my schedule. Now after that, from 7 to 8, I'm going to do one hour of homework. It's always good to block your time. Make sure you have a break, all of that kind of stuff, so that you can manage doing everything you want. So 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, I'm going to work on my psychology. I'll have to read my chapters, I may have to do a journal, may have to look for a project, and since psychology is in with yellow, okay? And then after that, I'm going to take a half hour break, I'm going to block here, okay, I'm going to merge those cells, and then from 8.30 to 9.30, I'm going to do my marketing. Okay, so a little bit of each, okay, again, I'm going to fill it with the same color as my marketing, uh, half an hour break, from 10 to 11, Merge my cells. It's 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. I'm going to do my business 1300. So you can see that for each class I have marked one hour of homework at night. Turn it to the same color as my business course. Then I would do that for every single day. Uh, same with Friday and Saturday. The nice thing about this is if you save this as, you know, daily schedule with just your classes in, then you can change the evenings as you go through. The other thing I suggest is that you print it out and you keep it with you. So put it on the fridge, that kind of stuff. And that way, uh, when you're going to use it, when you actually do this part, make sure you check it off so you know you've done it. It's a really good way to keep track of how many hours are you spending studying or how many hours are you spending on homework so that you know what mark you get and if you've done enough studying or homework. So hopefully this will help you out. And remember to visit your learning skills advisor or your learning strategist if you need more information. Have a great day.